Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's Tuesday for me. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I didn't vlog Monday because I took a rest day, literally. So I, um, why is my candle sign box open like this? Anyways, my order from candle sign is in here. Woo, it's handy. I think it's just halfway open. I think somebody opened it trying to see what was in it. Probably they were. Heck yeah, they were. Nosy people. I don't even know what time like this even got here. So, look inside. Let's smell some smells together first. So, this is the. Oh, Amber Noria. That's what my sister was. It smells so good. Oh, yes. I'm making candles in this tomorrow and samples. It smells so good. And then I got the okay. This is okay. The spice honey and toka tonka. This is a scent that I've never smelled before, but it had honey in it. So I got honey from one of my subbies. He wanted a honey type candle. So this is the one I got for him. I hope it smells good, y'all. I hope it smells good. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like honey. Ooh, he's gonna love this one. Y'all, this smells so good. Ooh, I can't wait to make a candle. Oh my God, that smells so good. It's the spiced honey and tonka. I don't know, but it smells good. I'm glad I picked it. <laughs> and this is the blueberry, y'all. I've never smelled. A blueberry candle in my entire life. Well, wow, let's smell this fragrance oil. I got a small one because I wasn't sure. No, I was sure, but I would have had to wait for for this size to come at, at the end of August, and I wanted to, and I wanted to come now. So I got this size. This size was at this location. So, oh, okay, it's blueberry. This is blueberry cheesecake. Hmm. I want to know what it will smell like if I add a, a little lemon to this. A little lemon. It smells good though. I really love that. That smells like the strawberry cheesecake, but blueberry. Hmm. It smells good. What else I like? Oh, yeah. I got a sample of the Hansel, Hansel and, and Greta's house. One of my coworkers, uh, he he told me he told me about this movie, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" So this is supposed to be this is supposed to be a full candy house, like a house full of candy. So this is how it's supposed to smell. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be one of my Christmas scents. This smells so good. It has like vanilla. It smells like a cookie or something. What's in this? Oh my gosh, you got it in a bigger scent, in a bigger uh, size. Y'all, this smells so delicious. Oh my God, I am ready for August. I mean, not August, y'all, Christmas time or Christmas time. I'm definitely gonna buy a bigger one of this one. Definitely gonna buy a bigger one of this one. Gonna buy a bigger um cheesecake. And then I'm gonna buy a bigger uh, spice honey, y'all. These scents are amazing. I love candle science scents. Now I haven't smelled everybody's scents. Oh yeah, I smell a candle science for sure, for sure. And then I smell one fragrance from the Wooden Wick Co. Y'all, their scents are um, it beats out candle science, but their scents are so expensive. Like it costs triple double i'm gonna say double the amount of candle science double and like this size double but they have some amazing first scents i know this one candle line like that's all she uses is uh um, their scents and i bet her her candle smells so good but we're gonna get there i'm gonna purchase um one day i'm gonna purchase some of the fragrances and then i'm gonna make candles for my line one of these good days because okay so the reason why i get fragrances by my house because it's cheaper and i can go pick them up and it's there within like a couple days versus and then shipping is absolutely free on uh, pay for shipping so that's why i order by my house but 
I'm about to, I'm about to start asparaging on uh, on scents because scents, these scents are amazing. I love Kennel Science scents. They smell so good. And then I also got two bags of soy wax. Ooh. One bag. Ooh. Two bags. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but eventually I'm going to start buying boxes. 45 pounds boxes. I think that's it. Then, y'all, I recycle these because I use these. I'm going to use these in order, so I have a box over there. I'm going to throw that in there. Let me tell y'all how much this stuff costs. I got one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. For the price of two bags of wax, I could have spent an extra 20 something dollars and got a a 45 pound that's what i should have did seriously but at but at the time before i ordered it i did not know exactly what to do with it but now i know what to do with it so i'm definitely going to purchase that next so i spent a total of 147.16 on these things prices are hot i'm keeping this so i can use it for tax right off um for come january y'all i'm excited for that i cannot wait like for my whole entire life my cousin and my sister's been telling me start a business start a business because you know whenever you're single like the government takes most of all your money because you don't have anybody that you're that you're, that you're, that you're taking care of but now have a business so now i'm gonna get a nice return hopefully this year because i need to really wipe out I, I need to really wipe out my um taxes but if i don't i, I know for sure i'm gonna get one next year so this box smells like blueberries y'all I'm gonna make candles and my sister she wants a nori candle so i'm gonna make her two of these and then i'm gonna make her some wax melts and i'm gonna make her some of those little tray things too i'm gonna make her some now or not today but probably tomorrow or next day so i can sip okay this is the key with soy wax you have to let it sit for three to four weeks y'all i wasted i'm gonna be real i wasted about two full bags of soy wax and probably a bag of tart of natural uh soy wax tart wax because i i'm impatient with it and i was getting impatient now i was like wait you know i did what i have to do i made them so they need to sit up for a month or longer than that so the smells can really come about because soy wax is all natural so it has to you know take in the um the oils and the wax has to combine and sit but y'all my rose candle and my rose um wax melts up there they smell amazing but because they set for a month before i because I, I really i poured them and then i forgot about them so i was like i'm not gonna worry about it anymore so I, I i had left it alone but luckily i wrote down my formula for it and and i um i kept it and so I follow the formula for my um, candles and now my wax melts. I've, I got a formula down, but I need to figure out the fragrance oils because I heard one woman say that you want to add um, three times the amount that you would add to a candle, to your wax melts, to your wax melts, because your wax melts, you want them to pop whenever they puff them in their, um, their wax warmers and you want it to fill the room. So I thought about that um so i just i usually want to practice on those well i mean i've i've already poured some with just the with just the candle measurements because but they smell amazing already um well only poured only poured two and that's the that's the um that's the um mimi's pecan pot and the uh toasty toasty vanilla because those scents are strong strong so i'm not gonna add any more especially the toasty vanilla i think i added too much because i did add three times the amount but that really only needs 15 um grams of oil because that song that scent, scent is so strong so i'm gonna i'm gonna test that scent out before i put it on the market because well those wax notes because i hope it's not too strong because i actually got a headache from that um from that scent when i was pouring it up because it was so strong so yeah 
<clears throat> but I'm excited for these candles, y'all. Like my my favorite part, my favorite part is literally making the candles because my house smells so good. Ugh. And then when I burn them, it smells so good. I just want to give y'all the same exact fragrances that I have in my home every single day. Anyways, this video's long enough for its own video. So if you guys are new here, welcome. I'm Tara. I'm starting my kennel business from scratch, from learning everything off YouTube, pretty much trial and error for me and for my money and <laughs> for my experience, everything. So if you're new here and, and you want to stay on my journey, subscribe. I would love to have you here. It's a family here. Uh, I'm very real on my channel. So I share pretty much a lot, not everything, but eventually I will um just not right now um but yeah welcome to my channel if you guys are new welcome if you are returning hello welcome back glad you're back of course you guys know that um but yeah i just i just got in from work or well, for my for my side hustle so now i'm going to i i think i am going to pour up some um because i think i am going to go ahead and have the tea lights as my sample boxes i'm gonna send them to two people that i know will give me a lot of feedback i want you guys to tell me well i'm gonna leave it in the but in the thing when i send to y'all and i want y'all to tell me um i'll see you guys on the first hopefully you guys get them by the fifth and let me know what y'all think and then from there we'll be able to launch but i just sometimes i think that my scents are just my ideal sense and not you guys's but this blueberry i might i may add um this spice honey to it because it's it, it's a fall scent it smells amazing it just smells like a, is this i mean it smells like honey it smells like honey it's like a spice a spiked honey or something but anyways, let me feel rambling. Yeah, whenever I figure out what I'm gonna see you guys, I will let you yeah. know. Um, so I have to get labels for the boxes and I have to get y'all I have to get shipping boxes. No no no. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna order poly mellows for those. Yeah. I wanna get let me let me keep rambling, y'all. <laughs> get out this thing. Bye y'all. <laughs>